One of my favorite things as a wedding photographer is the ability to work with another person to document a bride and groom's special day. I've been lucky enough over the years to work with my husband and since then he's become an absolutely amazing second shooter. Together we ensure to document every important moment from two angles, but working alongside another photographer hasn't always been easy. In light of this, today I'll be sharing a few tips on how to work with a second shooter. First things first, explain your responsibility to the second shooter. Don't hesitate to get specific and let them know exactly what you want. Sure, you want your second shooter to have artistic freedom, but if you need a specific angle from him, let him know exactly what you're looking for. The same goes for letting your second shooter know what he's responsible for if you happen to separate during photo coverage on a wedding day. For example, if the other photographer shoots the groom, don't hesitate to request specific lighting, poses, or angles. Remember, the more specific you are, the higher the likelihood you'll get exactly what you want. My second shooter knows that if I'm shooting a couple from the front angle, he shouldn't be shooting over my shoulder or capturing a similar photo. He should be responsible for capturing an entirely different photo from a side angle. The best thing you can do is tell your second shooter to find a new story given the exact same photo setup. Secondly, define a second shooter's role. Some photographers want their second shooters to shoot only and others want them to help set up lights or carry bags. The key is to know and explain exactly what you want. Some photographers, like myself, want a mix of both. My second shooter finds a way to document the day, but it's important for him to check in and see if I need him to help gather family members for photos, help set up my off-camera flash, or photograph specific candid photos. Because I defined what was expected in advance, we're on the same page and no one is let down. Lastly, and most importantly, a first and second shooter should have an agreement in place. The biggest frustration I see between two photographers is because of miscommunication. Who's in charge of editing photos? How many hours is the second shooter getting paid for? When should the second shooter deliver the images and how? There are lots of bases to cover, so having a legal document in writing will ensure everyone is on the same page. If you're looking for a fully customizable agreement between a first and second shooter, feel free to check out jasminestarstore.com. For less than $10, you'll find a way to navigate sometimes awkward conversations and ensure you have a positive and healthy working relationship with your second shooter.